here with Giannis from Beast in Black, finally in Canada. How's it going? Hello everyone. Beautiful, beautiful. Just the whole thing, the whole setting is just perfect. Best of all, and the area and the people taking care of everybody. It's really more than we could ask for. So this is your first show in Canada with Beast in Black. First show in North America, period, right? The very first one, yes. So you guys have played almost all over the world up until in, up until today. Now it's you can say all over the world. Uh, what were the expectations going in into this specific show, considering you guys never played in, in this part of the world? Well, North America is like a vast region, and there are so many great bands all over the world. And in America, you really don't know what to expect. And usually, you expect this much, like pretty much nothing. And uh, we were also playing very early today, so we're like, okay, let's just do our best, as always, and uh, cross our fingers. And then we go there and the crowd was like just totally nuts you know and we had a lot of fun and the crowd helped a lot despite the heat so we're very privileged to be here today absolutely yeah it was definitely a hot day i i saw that you pulled a muscle in your neck when when, when you were singing how, how are you feeling right now well it's still aching a lot well as, thankfully not as much but like I tried to avoid showing it, but I was just pulling it like this, trying to find the right spot, but it didn't work that much anyway. I was like, I wanted to cry from the pain at that moment, but I didn't say anything. I tried not to show it, but of course you noticed. So. Yeah. I was going to ask, you mentioned this during the show that you guys went for some poutine. So how was it? Incredible, incredible. There was this place, Alor Frit, that um, they had some special recipe that was the winner of their shop but uh, they had run out of some certain ingredients so we couldn't have that and uh, I chose the duck pulled duck option and uh, some of the guys chose the pulled pork as well it was like you can feel the grease down your throat you, you felt your throat like starting to burn like okay this is going wrong but you want to continue so I finished the plate in a couple of minutes everybody else was midway and I was like Done. So, yeah. Definitely not Ecos. <laughs> <laughs> you need some of that just to just take the greasiness and the saltiness away. You, you, have, you, have you tried actually Greek yogurt with pizza? Have I told you about that? No, no. Everybody's gotten, getting kind of grossed out by the idea. Like, what? Why would you do that? No, take a bite of pizza, then you take a spoonful of yogurt, and you'll thank me later. Wow, I gotta try that. You have to try that out. I have to Trust try that. I, I, I want to go back to Berserker before we talk about the new Absolutely. album. Berserker was such a huge success. Did, did that put did, did that put extra pressure on you guys to come back with a second album that, at, if not surpass it, at least would match the success of wow. Berserker? You, you, you always pressure yourself, basically, because I mean we're the kind of guys that really don't want to do anything uh, inferior to, to comparison to anything, you know, but uh, it always comes down to personal taste anyway, but we like, I like the new album even more, I can say, you know, some sing songs stick more, and I'm actually even very happy about the bonus tracks as well, which are covers that I really like, especially No Easy Way Out, it's, it belongs in my top 10 list, but uh, even like apart from those, it, it was just done, uh, even though it was in a stressful period, it was, we were recording the weekdays and then with the weekends we had festivals. But despite all these circumstances, it turned out just even better than we expected and we were very happy about it. And I think the third one is going to be even, even better. Wow, you're already talking about a third one. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Why wouldn't we? There's nothing to hide about that. I mean, well, obviously that's the intention of the band, maybe in the year to come. And uh, I've already heard a couple of samples and yeah, you'll be satisfied. That much I can tell. I, I'm already uh, excited I'm the, about uh, maybe it. Maybe I'm the too optimistic guy in the band. But uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. You're, you're the guy that I refer to as having uh, clouds of cotton candy for <laughs> vocals. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. 
Uh, from this new album, is there any specific song that really touches you, either lyrically or the way it comes across or how you have to perform it live? Is there any one track that stands above all others for you? I think always the vibes that I get from uh, Cry Out for a Hero is like my training montage song, basically. Like every time I listen to it or every time I sing it live or whatever, but even when I rehearse at home, you know. What I do is like I take a static bicycle and I do the set on that because I, I'm trying to emulate the exhaustion of the stage. Anyway, even in, in that stressful occasion, I really get pumped up. It gives me the energy boost that I need. So it's a perfect opener for the gig as well. So I think that song is my go-to It's your this album. I really love it. Uh, I out for a hero. I, I have to ask you about Ocean Deep. Yes. So that song, my, my wife doesn't listen to metal, but that song is pretty much on repeat every time I walk into the car. Uh, do you realize that that song, a lot of people are going to be having some serious love-making sessions during that song. Do you realize people are going to be doing that so. while listening to you? Does that impact you at all? Like, Well, I mean, if I am kind of metaphorically in their room while they're making love, I, uh, that in the way you put it, I'm not sure if I want to be a part of that. But if it makes their loving session better, I'm proud and happy about that. <laughs> that, that. That song is absolutely incredible. Your vocals on that song is absolutely phenomenal. When you guys were putting the record together, uh, at, at what part of the process did that song come into play? Because I felt it had a really cool dynamic. It came around the middle part of the album. It, it broke the record. And it was a, a song completely different from anything else you could find on the album. So it, it was that a song that you guys already had in mind early on in the process? Or it came like later in, in the recording? That, that's a pretty interesting question. Because uh, Anton was originally intending to have another ballad for the album. But uh, he was having trouble write, writing the fitting lyrics for that song. So he was like really stressing and really struggling he wanted to kick his head on the wall or something you know because he was just not able to do it i'm like hey dude relax make it easy focus on something else and it's, it's gonna be okay because some of the lyrics were even written on the recording process which is insane i i, I don't get that guy sometimes but uh, in any case uh, a couple of days later he's like hey what do you think about this song because i think i'm figuring out some lyrics about this one like, are you kidding me? <laughs> of course. So we, we went aboard that and uh, I think it happened almost at the last part of the recording session and uh, that, I think that was the song that I did the most vocal takes because I had an approach A and Anton had an approach B so it was kind of tough for me to instinctively sing in the second approach because every time I opened my mouth the first one was coming out so we were like okay let's find a golden path for this but it ended up most of this album has ended up better than we expected which is really making us proud and happy well, I mean the album is absolutely phenomenal so uh, you, you, you guys seem to have the right formula every time you go into the studio you just pull off incredible records so if you're already thinking of the third album I expect greatness nothing less no pressure <laughs> No pressure. We'll, we'll try to, to surpass every expectation. Uh, I want to move things to your own personal uh, vocal prowess. You've done few, vo I mean more than few, you've done quite a few uh, vocal covers on YouTube. Um, perhaps one of the biggest ones being Nightwish. Okay. Uh, do, do you... Do you prepare for those? Does the, uh, do you just think beforehand which song you want to do or which song fits perhaps your vocal style the best and then work around that before you even release it and put it out there? Well, specifically that one, if you're talking about Ghost Love Score, uh, that was standing actually in the closet for a couple of years. There were only a couple of phrases that I was like, okay, I need to kind of redo this if I really want to publish this. But most of it is actually like my voice from two, two years ago. And uh, it always goes like, I both want to challenge myself, but also I, I, if I take something that is too much out of my uh, jurisdiction, so to speak, or out of my territory, then it will not fit. So I try to, to do something. 
something like this. This area has to match, at least. So, if there is a challenge, and if, if I have to give something more to the music and to the song, then I will go along with it. But if I have nothing to give, or, you know, because I don't believe in comparisons, if it's better, if it's worse, like, I don't, I don't like using terms like that. So, if I have something more to give to the song, or to, to the composition, to the music, I do it. If not, then it's not the right choice. So that's how I operate and that's why I don't upload or do those things so much. You know, I don't have like a shitload of covers or anything. Just a few drops here and there. Do you enjoy doing them? Absolutely, absolutely. It's um, it's part of my leisure activities, you know, like I'm, when there's no tour or anything, I'm like, okay, I need to sing and I need to stop singing in the air. So that means put it on paper, so to speak. So put it on record. That the record stays, and that's also one of the reasons that I'm against doing like you see so many actually even great singers uh, nowadays in the modern world like they do Instagram selfie videos for stories which is just you and the camera and uh, what are you showing what you can do or what's the point because it's like having sex inserting half of yourself inside. And that's what you offer to the people because that's the easiest thing to do. You just do it, it's posted, it's done. But that's like throwing nibbles, you know, it's nothing. It takes the hard effort and more of your time to actually record something, put passion into it, you know, challenge yourself, get beat down, uh, try to rise up again, find your flaws, fix them. It is a whole other process there. Whereas if you do this, it's just like, I don't fucking care. We are the slaves to the music. That's how I view it. I am the slave to the music. So I cannot treat music like this. You know, that's, that's not my style. So if I do it, I do it the whole way. It's either the whole way or no way. Exactly, exactly. With the, with the cover you did, Nightwish, we talked about it. Did any, you guys tour with them as well. Yeah. So did anybody from the band reach out to you after you published that cover? Well, I mean, they will not reach out directly or anything, but luckily we have the same management and uh, our actual manager that travels sometimes with us is a very good friend with them as well. Like many, many years, they're like, he's almost part of the band. And, uh, well, he passed it on to Tuomas anyway. And Tuomas was like, we don't go about, which means fucking good. You know, so in Finnish, that was his reply. He's very like uh, laconic. He's very, few words and he's done. But if he likes it, it means it's probably decent. <laughs> well, Yanis, I won't take any more of your time. Ah, enjoy nice enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. And uh, best of luck with the rest of the tours and shows. 